topless modeling. Yo, and welcome Do to Tim 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 Talks number two, number two indeed, and this is our second or the three. This could be our reaction to the episode two of Tough, and uh, yeah, season twenty twenty six at the moment. The unbeaten series. Yeah, the if unbeaten you season. The first one. Go check that out now. We'll leave a link in the description. It was a great, great su surprise for me, as you know. If you go back and watch the first one, you'll find out where where we come from, or well, who which ones we're going for, and stuff like that. And let's get into it. Let's do this. William Hill sponsors BT Sports coverage of UFC. Always previously on these things. Um, just to let you know, we're uh, I'm Team Stepe, he's Team DC. And uh, it's one 0 to him currently. So any ideas for challenges? Get used to hearing that for yeah. the rest of the series. Nah, it won't be. <laughs> BC's gonna bring. Um, team Stepe's gonna See, bring this he back. He knows it. No, he no, 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 no. <laughs> team team uh, Stepe's bringing this back. To be honest, this it's a win-win really because if I lose and Stepe wins, I'm not gonna be gutted. Whereas could be Connor, I'm gonna be <sighs> devastated when. It, it when Connor loses. Yes, we've got it. Uh, we both Mark. kind of stitched each other. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. So oh, uh, poor John last series. Uh, yeah. Last episode. Yeah. The uh, alpaca shearer, of course, for a living, which is unique, different, strange. Would be one way to put it. That's for sure. But uh, yeah, it's looking like. Team uh, DC's got a Superman guy. He like dresses a bit like Clark Kent. With his glasses <laughs> he's on. A, he's fighting in this episode. Yeah, he's on this episode, and then he takes his uh, glasses, glasses off. off. <laughs> Becomes a whole different kettle of fish. I think the Again, British dude. Kylo. He's fighting Kylo. I think the British dude's on my team. James. Is it? Yeah. Up and do <laughs> he off is his a See, I'd say I, I, I probably like Stipe more as a person than Cormier, but it's the fact of I genuinely think Cormier is going to win the fight. Do you know what I mean? Like his wrestling. I'm not saying Stipe's shit wrestling because he's phenomenal. I think Stipe's going to be too strong for him. You think it's the strength for the in yeah. his corner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, in Stipe's corner. Yeah, sorry. I think yeah. As good as as strong as DC is, and we've seen him lift and flip heavyweights and take down heavyweights. Literally flip. Yeah, I just think he's a different kind of fish, isn't it? What's he doing? <laughs> is that is that his own lock? Is that his? Yeah, I guess. Orange? No, that's DC's room. Look on the door. Oh, it's yeah. Team Cormier. You're stitching them up. Is that is that Gion? Is that Volante? Yeah, 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 yeah. for that next one, we're winning. What a legend, he was um, in top. Um, Dana, Dana White looking for a fight. Dana White wants a fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Check it out, YouTube, Dana White looking for a fight. Oh, of course, that's him and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? He was in a previous series of tough. Yeah, he's someone's coach as well. Someone who lost quite recently, a few men. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's a few, yeah. I can't even recall Steve having a beard, let alone a tash. Yeah, that's a. That must have been, been an old or a, a, a photo from a while back. He got blue up. But yeah, during a camp or something. Beauty. And my dad started training jiu jitsu at the Gracie Academy. I don't know. I don't know how you can do that with a beard on the lips. I can't have mine on my lips. <laughs> it itches the fuck out of me. Look, it is that. It's, it, yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's only annoying uh, drinking or eating. Yeah, I guess. It stays, it? I've had it so long, I can't feel it now, but it is going to be cut off. We've so. got to get so that your head touches, and that's annoying. Like, that annoying. I can't feel it. It goes up my nose every now and then. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mind gets yeah, that long. It is, it is coming off soon. It's got to be. Get out for the summer. I'll go as far as to, I'll go as far as to say this won't be our, This won't be here for the next uh, next episode. Hashtag beard off for the summer. <laughs> Nice, my dude's like winning world champions. He's got some credentials. Yeah. 
choking, knocking, tapping motherfuckers out. Hey, here we go. Choking necks and cows. Ah, he was on Dana White's Tuesday night. Oh, yeah. Contender series. And that's how we on Fight Pass, that is. Ooh. Tuesday night, that'll do. In Jiu Jitsu and wrestling, I was always like a few steps ahead. It's kind of like how everything is in slow motion. I could see it coming. And I got the name, nickname The Matrix. He kind of just stuck with me. That's quite cool. <laughs> Matrix saying, that's why I'm calling it from now on. You know, once I hit Brad, he's going to try to shoot. In Matrix is going to hit Brad and take him into another dimension. I don't know if the Matrix works like that. I'm not. I'm not, I didn't really like the Matrix, so I don't really like films. <laughs> Alright. Boom! Back after the toilet break. Sorry about that, guys. Cheers for sticking with us, people. We are back. It's uh, currently Stipe having a yap. Uh, we're not really sure how we're going to play this, whether we're just going to stick the whole episode down in the bottom right corner. But we don't want to piss off the UFC and their stringent copyright rules. So, yeah, this is the learning curve. Any tips, any advice, please let us know. Leave a comment down below in the uh, comment. Hit us up on Tiz Vlogs on Facebook. That should be appearing. It was here or here somewhere. Well, I'm not quite sure if that even worked. I think this is going to be a good fight. Yeah, I'm hoping the fight's going to be good. <coughs> Oh, we're going to see a bit of a fight. Ooh. Disrespectful. Don't piss right, off. guys. Fast forward through the break. To be honest, it should be alright, because I said, when I said right, guys, just before that, you can probably just fast forward. William Hill sponsors BC Sports Coverage. Las Vegas, baby. Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> Stupid. He didn't even know this, did he? Yeah. What the? Ah, <laughs> 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 that he noticed. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> creeper. That's a cool, harmless little prank. Yeah, man. Well, I'm notice Steve, I guess, when it comes to the pranks this season. Uh, do you prefer the seasons when the coaches do or don't get along? Do you like the Alabama I, like I like it when they don't. Yeah. I'd say the best, um, the, the Conor Uriah Faber was the funniest maybe, but they didn't get to fight, so I, I can't really count that. That makes sense. But the ones who ended up fighting, best feud would be uh, Bisbing Mena. Oh yeah, Bisbing and Mena was, Mena was brilliant, because they every opportunity, whenever they seen each other, they would go at each other. Uh, Rampage Rashad? Yeah, that yeah. was a good one as well. He rips the door off. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the funniest uh, quotes from uh, 
tough ever that is when Dana White does the little interview after and he says yeah, it doesn't show how good rapping is it's just like shit our doors are <laughs> fucking amazing <laughs> love Daddy Dana Ooh. bit of disrespect Orange King's former partner, mate. Like the Netherlands at the World Cup. Hey, listen, today uh, Tyler and I got into a bit of an argument. He feels as though that when he's training, the guys are constantly going, Thailand, slow down, Thailand, slow down. Don't use your power. If you don't use your power, you can just hold. It makes it a lot simpler. Of course, I'm not f***ing going off that. Listen, man. Like, if you're going hard, I'm tired of hearing this. Go away. Come on, I don't, I didn't ask for your help. Don't be emotional, son. Like, what are you emotional for? I'm just going, I always like, Kai, every time I'm rolling, it's Kai. Yeah, I'm just trying to tell you something that's going to help you. Yeah, surely you don't think he knows better than DC. Good advice, definitely. Advice. In the long run, just in life. And tell him, hey, calm down. Like, you're mad at us. Like, we're here to help. Or you can leave. Listen, you got a real point to me and just leave. Like, seriously. absorb it and take some in you know, and learn. <laughs> Ooh. See where Thailand's coming from. Like to have that hard, but still, DC's point is a lot better. I would say you need to stay calm in fights. You can't just use power and force with the Yeah. Well, I guess rolling with him now. DC understands how technically good he is as well and how he wants to. Go yeah. Later. I guess one of the best. See that that shows the person DC is though. Do you know what I mean? He could have took that person. He kicked him out of his gym. Took it as a friend, but he didn't. He thought, right, you want a hard roll? Yeah. I'll go down with you. Let's see how good you are. Da, 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 da. He's top, top man. He's top. It's such a <coughs> hard fight. When he, when he retires and he goes full time into coaching, if that's what he plans. I, if it comes to personality, uh, train if it was a personality so. fight, I couldn't choose who I wanted to win. Do you if it was just like, yeah. oh, if it, would you prefer DC or Stipe? I'd be like, oh, I'm not sure, you know, I don't know. And I like, like, they're both cool dudes, you know what I mean? They're both sound dudes, but when it comes to a technical fight, I kind of think Stipe's on my tools. It's going to be tight, going to be good. Stay tuned, guys. We are going to be live. We're going to be doing our very, very first ever live event for UFC 226. And, um, we're going to bring you live reactions, live shocks, live moments, and uh, a lot of good fights on the card. A lot, a lot, a lot of good fights on the card, so stick with us and uh, we'll stick with you. Peace. Oh, yeah, he fights out straight blast gym, doesn't he? Seems coming. Yeah. He can't really take part in the amateur pastime of. He's got a weird twinge of Irish about him, isn't he? Yeah. You know, since moving to Dublin, everything's new, everything's exciting. So if I walk around city centre and, and see Dublin Castle, that's that's really neat for me. I find it absolutely beautiful here when the sun's shining, look at the grass. We don't have castles just in the middle of your city in Canada, so the scenery is different, everything is different. Um, I, 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 I,
Yeah. You can appreciate different places when you come from somewhere else. So, yeah. It's always easier to, yeah. I've noticed that even with us, just with our little, you know, where we travel and the places we go, I appreciate different views, different sites, different locations and locks. So I can definitely relate. It's not as broad a journey, obviously, but if I'd like to come to America, I think that would be. As, as much as it would, I would like to do more obscure places in Europe. Do you know what I mean? Just there's a lot of history in those places. You don't speak around for them. I know there's a lot of uh, history in America, but a lot of it is hard to find. So kept. But for this, you know, for events, for experiences in the UFC or something like that. I said in my life, promo on the front of the straight blast here, having Connor with the belt, say, the first ever. Too yeah, it probably doesn't need that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's Conor McGregor and uh, Coach Cavanaugh's gym. So it's pretty damn well known in Ireland. Yeah, yeah, I think I think he's gonna do a good job. Will I go two 0 up? Fingers crossed. Mm, I, I can't see it, mate. Matey Masvidal, Matrix, Matrix Masvidal. That's what I'm gonna call him. <coughs> yeah, I know, mate. He's out of straight blast. The tough man. Oh. Yeah. I wonder what happens to it during the year. I wonder if it's used, I wonder if it's rented out, I wonder if it's... They I think Dana it. just rents it for this for the season. I don't know if they own it or not. I'm not too sure. Because it's, it's, it's a different mansion every year, isn't it? It's never the same tough house. Is it? Is it? Or have they used this one for the last two or three? I don't know, I don't know. I've never thought to Google it. Never thought to... It's definitely been uh, more than one. We'll have a little Google on this. So I can remember in the fir in the first ones, wasn't it like a it looked like a like a square white castle y type house? Yeah. Even in my just my weight class alone, I have a bunch of UFC fighters that are in the top twenty. I explore with them all the time. Why trains of sugar sh uh, sugar shot? I love doing the tri-staff. I like to use the uh, double nunchucks. I've tried so many different martial arts and competing, so many different martial arts. There's no other thing like MMA where you have the freedom to have your own style. You can be however you want, and that's the great thing about MMA. We'd have to be close to the training from. Yeah, convenient. Well, they always get picked up in minibuses, though, don't they? Yeah, but I guess it makes sense if they own it, but there isn't a lot on Google to say whether or not it's... Does the tough house change? Shall I uh, fire off a tweet from our tweet Twitter account? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I have to show. We'll give him a Twitter room. Give him a ask directly. Yeah, I'm going to fight for and think about it. My girlfriend and our future is going to help me stay focused. Doing it for the people who love me, that's what I need to be fighting for. Vegas does look crazy at night, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Nights and stuff. Always science and math-based causes. For example, throwing the cross and seeing your body rotate, the driving your legs and all that, and the rotation, how that translates. Um, to power on your punch, it, it, it was really neat um, because your body's just almost like a bunch of, a bunch of levers. I found it fascinating how it was almost like a switch, all of a sudden your mind goes at, at, at movement slightly differently. And you look at athletes on, on any level. <coughs> yeah, see, it, it's stand up, it moves pretty good. Some sort of athletic space and it's really being able to think critically and, and athletically is uh, usually a key to success. Because the other dude's a bit all-round dude, isn't he? 
It's a lot more well rounded than like this ground game Jiu Jitsu, it's for low. Oh, he's 6 0 as well. So that's three fighters that are 6 0 so far. Alright. Oh, but we don't know what Tyler is as a opponent. I thought 7, but you think maybe 5 0. Yeah, but less. Maybe 6. Yeah, all three, all three people that have been told about their records so far have said so. Yeah, I would assume that, well, that's both over five, so that's higher, higher to ten than it is to zeros. He's a uh, quick as fuck, really. He appears quick as fuck. Brad Katona. This is related to Kerry. So that tweet out to uh, Ariel Hawani as well, I've asked Ariel, I don't know whether or not he knows. Get on Twitter and follow us, guys, Tiz Vlogs, go on Twitter. You should know that by now, if you've seen him for the years. When he's not fighting, you know, he's a really, really smart guy. He's very open to learning and he's a wrestler. So, it's very easy to... I wonder if the game plan would be taken down and kind of out wrestling him or... I don't know, DC's never, I guess, yeah, that's DC's main plan, but DC's never scared to stand up with somebody and try to go, but I just wonder, I wonder what Stipe would do, like when you look at Stipe's biggest two victories, say for Doom and, and Gan, they were both people who were always going to strike forward at him, so he out wrestled him. <coughs> Daniel was going to wrestle him, so I think Steve Bay would kind of combat that with strikes. He managed to get the Doom on the way in with the big left. Yeah. Doom set him sleep, and then Gan, like you said, he just. And DeSanto says he was kind of yeah. trying to create space catches in. Yeah. I don't know if Steve FDC can go and hit that wrestling and just make that something. I don't know if, he, if, he's, if he is strong enough. It's. it's Oh, it's going to be so good. Definitely. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, it's going to be, oh, be amazing. This is going to be a good one. Here we go, episode two. Episode two, tough. And undefeated, and we are One nil ahead at the moment. No way, we can't keep bringing that up. I am. One nil ahead. Going to be two nil ahead, hopefully. It's weighing. They rarely miss weight in this anymore, do they? Yeah, they kind of made that crystal clear in the first few seasons. Yeah, yeah. First of the scale, Tyler Phillips. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it tells us his record now. <laughs> See that? For the last episode they wore the moustaches, didn't they? For John. They're wearing beards now for Tyler. Love that. Hey, 
come here for business. I hope Superman shows up to the fight and Brad Tony beats Kyle Come on, Brad. Come on, Brad. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Matrix. He's, he's coming from that straight black street and then hey, to get that fighter's in the right mindset, doesn't he? Yeah. Even if you want to say, oh, that carbon copies of Connor, that you sound like whatever. It, this, I'm not saying this guy does at all. Does um, Coach Calvin not still teach a straight blast or is he more... I guess there's a young Connor. Yeah, but uh, when he, when obviously he was doing Connor's training camps and all that lot, he wasn't actually at the gym training. He was in Vegas and with yeah. Connor when he was his corner. Yeah, on those occasions, but I guess now, yeah. he's in there training. I suppose he probably oversees everything anyway, doesn't he? Well, the best place to work your gym from is probably at it. The best place to work your work from is probably at your work, isn't it? So. By the time I turned about 12 years old, I wrote on a goal sheet. I guess there's always stuff to learn. I guess that would be his, his mentality to it, is that there's always new techniques, new, you know, jiu-jitsu's never standing still, boxing's never standing still, there's new movements. Well, the chain for example. Just, I feel like I'm a hybrid. Yeah. Yeah. I adapt to so many different so. styles, and so athletic and unique, that I'm going to bring the martial arts to the next level. I'll believe him. Next level shit, mate. You know what DC talk about levels? <laughs> There's levels to this shit. There's levels to this shit, mate. And that's what we're saying. I've been prepared to fight Brad for a super long time. I've been visualizing for the past week exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> for a super long time, a week. <laughs> for the past week. <laughs> Come on, Superman. That's a different character as well, doesn't he? Yeah. to fight somebody, your body's going to go through fight or flight response. It's really a unique feeling, and so I just let nature take take control of everything. I'm very confident Superman can beat the self-proclaimed Matrix. I'm Superman versus Neo. Who wins? This is it. Superman smokes him. Come on. Five and oh, you was right. But five and oh. No, I know it's reach, it's a good reach, six reach, six inch reach advantage. We're in. Is it going to be a quick one like the last one? Seems a bit quicker. Two kicks did. Yeah, they made they've stopped them rushing in as quick. Nice! Another left. 
God, like I said though, you boy can take a punch. It's not really taking on me. Yeah. So Neil's getting out there. Nice. Nice again. It's just individuals you need to you need to follow yeah. some combinations, you need to put something behind that one. the round and that's round one for two. Oh come on then Matrix! You've got to be kicking ass, isn't it? I've got faith in uh, old Superman. I hope not, because... Too stupid! No. Too stupid! Too stupid! It's not going to happen. I'm going to go 2-0 up. Too stupid! Too stupid. That was that's a really good uh, stack guide defence. See, mate, he's got that, um, your dude, Katona's got a perfect stature for that ground and pound sort of game, and he's like that's sprawl, strong like, yeah. from like the hips to like the, the chest to the waist, and that pushing a wide, in. A wide base type mm. thing. Round one done. Here we go, guys. Round two. I reckon that was round one to his dude, though. I think um, it was close. I'd say your dude took the first minute or two of the fight. Yeah, on his feet. Yeah, he was looking long, he wasn't he? The take the takedown. He kind of he had a lot more round control, my dude. So I'd say. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I'd say I was a. Uh, this round is to find the winner. But three minutes to two. If you're gonna go time by time. Ooh, nice leg kick from the tongue. Yeah, that was, uh, how amazing is it that um, Katona has got, obviously it's the same for Phillips, but Katona has got Cain Velasquez and Daniel Cormier in his corner. Oh. Like, how surreal would that be for the fighter? 
And if he's at Straight Blast as well, so I would say they're mainly like a stand-up gym. Would oh, you of say? course he fights out of Straight Blast. Yeah. Island, eh? So I'd say they're like more of a stand-up expertise gym. Would you would you kind of agree with that? Like to an yeah, extent? it is an MMA gym. It's not a kickboxing. No, I get that. One. But but they do specialise in stand-up. So to go with DC and Kane to work on your wrestling and your takedown yeah. and that man, what a fucking way to gain some extra different experience. Yeah. Like I don't I don't think you'd go to Straight Blast like to do like a jiu-jitsu camp. No, you no. go there for yeah. your stand-up. You're more tired. You can train jiu-jitsu. You can train. Of course. Yeah. But the high level wrestlers and in, in, in Jiu Jitsu artists that I doubt would be as good I as the high level. I think it's quite ironic that uh, Daniel fights out of AKA, the Kickboxing Academy. Oh, uh, yeah. I assumed I mean, it would be more of a like um, American Top Team, where it's a wrestling school. Yeah, that makes sense. Stand up type thing. Yeah, that does make sense. Because American Top Team specialise in wrestling and all stuff like that, doesn't it, really? God, this was like a 10,000 meter race. My dude st sprinted off at the start. Yeah, he's and just there. wheeling him in slowly. Yeah, he's like almost going up the pace. <laughs> yeah. He's kind of walking him down. Oh. oh. Lovely spinning body kick. Beautiful. And then right down to basic slot. Yeah, see, that's what I think is so sick. What do you think? When you've got a bigger? wrestling as like a, uh, as your bread and butter, you can go a long way. Because if you, you ever get in trouble. So you on a, if you were scoring this now, would you count that body kick as a bigger hit or that takedown as a bigger thing? Like I would have said the takedown. Yeah, because I agree. the takedown there was more chance of the fight ending. Oh yeah, that makes sense. So I mean he, he's controlling him, he's on top of him, he could have started striking, submission, all of that jazz. Whereas the kick it I'd say the things with the kicks and punches in general is it's how good the other person can pretend it, isn't it? Like, <laughs> it, that that, 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 that literally killed Katona then. That killed that would have Her. absolutely killed him, yeah. but you don't show it. Whereas if Katona had slightly winced, Phillips would have pants. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's a good way of looking at it. But yeah, I, I would say scoring wise, hmm. I think a takedown scores more than say a spinning back kick to the body. Fair, fair. If it was I agree a, if it was a head agree. kick and maybe like a Barbosa Kevin Lee, that spin that wheel kick that made Kevin Lee. It changes the, the momentum of the fight, yeah, I get you. Because a takedown can do that, can it? Can change the momentum of a fight. Like we've seen then, he hit him with the big yeah. one with the big body kick, which could have swung it that way, but then he hit oh, him again. Yeah, he landed another. That one was actually better if he hit it more precise. He was lucky. Yeah, I know he was lucky. Yeah. He was almost on his way out. Yeah, he was. Way in. Good movement. Oh. He almost done that Khabib. <laughs> Take the punch. Oh. Oh, get on, dude. Oh, I can tell now. I guess he's, 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 he's neutralising him with that wrestling, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, he's playing a real clever game, a real good game plan. If he can get Phillips down and keep him down for the rest of this round, Katona wins. That's it, drop down to the knee. Oh, give this round to your dude again as well, dude. I think it's two to one. About two to nil, sorry. Like, rounds wise. Yeah, I'd say the first round was a draw, but my dude's edge. I think the has just neutralised him a bit. Yeah, he, well, the, there's probably what, maybe at least two and a half minutes of control. Yeah. Over oh, yeah, definitely. And even when they haven't been engaging. My guys kept the centre the octagon. I think what's happened is Katona as well was worried um, Matrix with his um, takedowns. And leg obviously, kicks. obviously slowed him down with that first leg kick. Yeah, oh, first round. yeah, of course the big beast in leg Ooh. kick. It's unlucky. Come on, you got 30 seconds to knock him out. And realistically, Go Phillips on. is fading bad. If this was a three round fight, yeah, true. Still Katona like seems like he's still going. Nah, it's only two rounds though. I don't know, the judges might score. The judges score. Oh, of course, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that emergency special third round. Which Phillips is begging for. Come on, Phillips! Too late. Look at oh, that. See that great defense. defense. He got back to his feet during the defense as well. Nice. Avoided the wheel kick. Landed the jab. I would. I'm I'd say, I'll give it 2-0 to. Yeah, get to I, I'll give it first round dude. draw, second round my dude. Yeah, is that where you're going? Yeah, I don't. I don't. I wouldn't agree on the draw. Then. Yeah, those leg kicks changed the whole fight. Oof. 
he was dinging him in, wasn't he? That's the point, he hadn't checked one. Maybe he could have. Sorry Tiddlers, I, we are fully, I am fully engaged. I'm also just trying to edit away so we can get all of the uh, videos up and out for you. So we're trying to multitask on the multi-level here. I think that's what it was and I think once he had got, a, once that Matrix had got a grasp of his wrestling, I don't think he could... He could then let his hands go because he knew that if he was going to let his hands go or let his feet go, all of a sudden that's, he was going to come in for a takedown. That's what I mean. He's brave to throw a spinning kick to the body to someone who's dominating him in the wrestling. Do you know what I mean? If yeah, you tell him yeah. Shot a takedown. Great way to look at it, dude. Yeah, you've got to give this to tell me it'll be a robbery if he doesn't. Come on, Philip. Come on, Matrix. You know me. No, I'll, I'll move DC on that, I think it's hard. Brad wins it. Swish. He knew it was happening. It's a fit. Sweaty enough. <laughs> yeah. Towel down, isn't it? Give yourself a little towel down. Get a towel. Get one of those towels that you use in swimming quickly. Absorbs all the water. Steve Bay's gutted. You should get used to it, though. <laughs> he ain't gonna lose. What? You heard him. Did he just say he was better than him, technically? Technically, much better all the way through the fight, I thought. Judges got it wrong, mate. You need to get with, yes. the, you need to get with the fucking programme. Judges got it wrong. What a sword. If you agree with me, Tiddlers, loser. leave a like. If you agree with him, leave a comment. If you that think maybe he was a sore loser, fucking leave a comment. <laughs> just hashtag loser. Red Foo, LMFAO, see how he does. Quite raucous. Against someone that looks a bit like me. I was just about to say. That's what I guess, Dean. I think I look more like Red Foo, if I'm honest with you, though. But <laughs> people, have got, the people have got self delusions. What an awkward lightweight mate he is, that over six foot. It's fucking yeah. makes it awkward, doesn't it? It's like James Vick. It is. James Vick, 6 one. It's true. Right, guys. Well, that is pretty much episode two um, of Tough 26. 26. Another um, win for DC. Oh, yeah, makes it 2 0 to him. <coughs> so, on that note, much love to you. Big up yourselves. Leave a like, leave a comment, and you know the rest. Peace.